Hello, and welcome back to Sailing With, or should I say, Sewing With Intention. If you saw our Winter Projects 2023 episode, you'll already know that the first project we wanted to tackle was to reupholster the seats in our saloon. These are our couches, our dining room chairs, and sometimes even our bed. The 30-year-old upholstery was still clean and in pretty good repair, but even 30 years ago, the crushed velour corduroy and deep vertical scrim-stuffed backs were probably getting a little long in the tooth. Also, they had absorbed 30 years of boat, um, aroma? So even though we thought the upholstery was pretty great when we bought Intention, over the past year we've grown to want to replace that upholstery more and more. In this episode, we're going to show you a fairly brief overview of the steps we followed. We're going to post separate videos that cover each of the phases in more detail, so if there's a topic that's of particular interest, or you just have time to kill, you can check those out as well. The first step was to remove the old upholstery and take it all back to our condo to work on. Hypothetically, we could have taken the material and sewing machine to the boat, but we have a lot more room to work in our condo. Once the upholstery pieces were at our condo, we had to deconstruct them. As I said, there's going to be a separate video that shows the details of exactly how we did that if you're interested. But for this video, let's just yada 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 the whole process until the supporting foam underneath each piece is laid bare. We bought Sunbrella Marine Grade Acrylic Canvas for reupholstering. It's water and UV resistant and specifically designed for the marine environment. The canvas work that we already have on Intention is all Sunbrella and it's all holding up well, so that made it easier for us to make that choice. We chose Cadet Grey for the seat bottoms and Motive Denim, a striped fabric, for the seat backs. We already had Cadet Grey accessories, storage pockets and similar items, in our cabins on board, and so we wanted to keep that consistent. We thought that the Motive Denim looked really sharp with it, and it would break up an otherwise monolithic look. One issue we immediately encountered is that the Cadet Grey fabric we chose was only available locally in 45 inch widths. And yes, I know we're Canadian, and we adopted the metric system when we were in grade 6. Most of sewing in North America is done in imperial units, so that's what you'll hear me say. Anyway, two of our seats, the one by the galley and the one along the port side, were too wide to cover with a single piece of this width of fabric. I like the look of French seams, which I incorrectly call flat filled seams in the segment we filmed on the topic, and so we created these to both cover the full width of the seat and to create the impression that there are two seats on these longer benches. Again, there's a separate video being posted that has the construction details of these seams if you're interested. We invested in a hot knife, which is exactly what it sounds like it is to make this and other Sunbrella projects easier. It cut like, well, a hot knife through Sunbrella, I suppose. But both Donna and I were convinced that it was well worth the $125 we spent on the knife on this project alone. Plus, we have the knife now to work on other projects. We smoothed the Sunbrella over the foam and stapled it to the wood backing, then applied black dust cover material onto that to finish everything off nicely. It took us a few tries to get comfortable, but once we did, we worked well together, and we're really proud of the end result. We mistakenly thought that we would pull the old upholstery off, carefully undo the seams, and use those pieces to pattern this umbrella for the new upholstery. As a result, we spent a lot of time on the first few pieces trying to preserve 30-year-old upholstery. But this was not an archaeologic dig. For one thing, the old velour and the new Sunbrella do not stretch the same, so we had to basically pattern each piece by hand. We have four seat bottoms and four seat backs, so that meant we had to basically invent new processes for each one of those pieces. In future, I won't waste my time trying to save the old material. I'll just remove it as efficiently as possible and start with a fresh, clean piece of new fabric. One other issue we encountered is that the previous seat backs had a very thick scrim foam, at least one and a half inches thick in fact. We thought that it would be much thinner than that, 
maybe half an inch, and so we'd be able to remove that scrim stuffed section and still have enough foam thickness to just have a slab back. When we disassembled the backs, it was obvious that the foam would have been too thin for comfort. We bought some new foam and adjusted our design, covering the foam foundation with cadet gray, just like the seat cushions. We then made box cushions that attach to the seat backs with Velcro. This will allow the seat backs to be removed and used elsewhere on the boat if more cushions are needed. And because they're covered in umbrella, we don't need to worry about them getting damaged in the sun or soaked in sea spray. And yes, we have other video of that as well. So here is what the saloon looks like without any cushions. And now we're going to add the cushions one by one. Well, that was quite a project. Um, I honestly didn't have any framework to figure out how long this was going to take. It took probably 12 to 16 hours of um, disassembly, sewing, everything else. Um, but I really like the way the project turned out. What do you think? I think it's great. Yeah, you did a great job. Thank you. Um, it looks so much better than the previous uh, upholstery. And as you can see, these um, denim colored uh, back cushions can be removed and used as cushions elsewhere on the boat, which is always kind of handy. Um, the cost of this project was, it's not like it was cheap. I think we spent a total of about... 450 to 500 dollars Canadian on materials. Um, I already had the Sailrite machine, so we didn't have to spend money on that. Um, but that really covers all the materials. We bought new foam for the seat backs. We had to buy some tools, like a hot knife and uh, the electric knife to cut the foam. Um, we also had to buy this umbrella, which is not an inexpensive fabric, but I, I think it was the right fabric for this setting. Um, and then we had to buy other things, uh, Pfeiffer text for the back of the cushions, zipper, uh, material, um, Velcro. Can you think of other things we bought, sweetie? Not really. Okay. A variety of things. If anyone's really interested, I do have a, I, I can give you a list of everything we needed to, to do this. But um, every project is a little bit different. Every one of these cushions was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So um, really, you kind of have to figure out how it's going to work on your boat. That said, I think this is a big improvement to intention. Yeah. All right. Thanks. thanks. So that's winter boat project number one wrapped. <laughs> On to two, three, and four, and we still haven't figured out number five, how to get more winter to do our winter boat projects. And now we have number six because we got port, port lights that we need to reinstall. That's true, yeah, yeah, because the port light right up here above my shoulder is actually leaking, so we discovered when we pulled out these seat cushions that there's water damage behind them, so we have to repair that and replace the port lights up here. Okay. So we're going to sign off now from Intention. Thank you very much. As always, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if you have any questions or you have ideas of things you'd like to see in future videos. And subscribe to the channel so that you get notified of upcoming videos. Thank you.